Yo, what's going on guys? We'll be here back on the Madden 16 today. I'm happy to bring you guys the salary cap team that I would like to rock out with. And I know the salary cap is probably a little bit more dead now that uh, everyone pretty much switched back over to Mutt. But, uh, I don't give a crap, man. So I'm here showing you guys the salary cap team that I built. And I'm actually really, I'm actually really kind of excited to jump into this. Uh, I built like three different teams, and this is the one I'm probably going to start off with first. And if I decided to switch to the other ones, any of the other ones after that, my first uh, season or whatever is up, if I show you all the games, then you know I'll be sure to show you guys the next lineup. But I made a few different variations of it. The offense and defense are most of uh, are most the same. There's just a few differences, like my receiving is a little bit different. Um, my cornerbacks, my defensive backs are a little bit different, and my defensive line is a little bit different. But we're still rocking out with pretty much the same uh, offensive line, tight end. Uh, the offensive line stays the same no matter what. Uh, the offensive, it it really is. Oh, I didn't mean to show you the defense. It really is just a bunch of people with style bonuses to get my uh, to get my style bonuses up because I feel like it doesn't really matter who your offensive line is. You know, I got long pass and ground pass, ground pass, long pass and ground and pound as my uh, styles, and I'm kind of just hoping that that'll that that's just gonna help uh, boost up my run block and my pass block enough to where it's not really gonna matter because I believe plus if you got up to 60, it's a plus six. So that's going to give a plus six to long pass, or plus six to, to um, what is it, what is it, pass block and, um, uh, pass, pass block and run block. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here, but that's the reason behind that. I also got Delaney Walker as the tight end. Really, really good stats for a receiving tight end. Well, I wouldn't say really good, but he's, he's, he's good, okay? He takes only a 24 cap hit, which is really, really good, actually, surprisingly very good, with 85 speed and 81 run block. It's all I really care about. 80 strength is enough to catch it, you know, not to draw up any open passes. So that's really my logic with him. Magging him up is John Kondo. He's completely useless. He just takes only a 9 cap hit. We got, uh, okay, can I... Thank you. We got Paxton Lynch, actually, as our quarterback. I, everyone's using Jared Goff, but I really like this Paxton Lynch card. Uh, I just felt like I needed better throw power, so I got a 97 throw power, 91 short, 93 mid, 93 deep. He takes only a 70 cap hit, and I think he's got perfect, perfect stats to stand in the pocket. And 77 speed is enough speed to me. Uh, I, I know in a lot of my videos I like to roll out my quarterback, but I definitely don't have to do that. I just do it because it adds more excitement to my gameplays. So that's why we got Paxton Lynch. We're going to be able to throw some steady dots with him with 97 throw power, which is what I like. I like high throw power. We got Amari Cooper as our number one receiver. 91 Amari Cooper is a glitch, as I'm sure you guys know. This card is ridiculous. We got Keenan Allen in the slot. You got 96 route running. That's something that we need. You know, 96 route running, 97 catching traffic, and 90 speed is enough to break uh, to break open whenever he first breaks. We got Mauricio Jones Drew as our running back, and I think that this is a really, really good running back for salary cap. A 56 cap it really isn't that bad. He's got decent speed at 92, 90 agility is pretty good, 95 excel is good, at 94 carrying is good, 92 ball carry vision, it's, that's, that's decent, uh, 90 elusiveness, 95 truck, and 93 juke move. He's a really good every down back, so that's really my logic behind getting him. At only 56 cap it, he really can't do anything. Um, our, core, our fullback, we got John Connor. Uh, nothing too special about him. He's ground and pound. Uh, he's, he's one of the ground and pound people he gives plus 15 ground a pound that's pretty much why he's there we also got stefan diggs crazy good you guys already know if you guys have been around uh stefan diggs is my guy i freaking love him and we just got two fullbacks as our flex players um but this is the offense of the first lineup that i'm gonna be trying first uh it just depends on how well the offense plays if i find myself just getting dooted on an offense like i can't get anything going then i'm probably gonna switch to one of the other lineups with better receivers Flip it over to the defensive side of things. The defensive side is just stacked with freaking goons. We got goons everywhere. Um, so I'm pretty much using my strong safety. And instead of Calvin, I have Ronnie Lott there. I do have Calvin, just not in this lineup. In one of my other lineups, I have him there. But that's we got Ronnie Lott there. The speed edition, he's got 98 speed. Uh, 84 man coverage. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to be using him the whole time. So all I really care about is his speed. So that's why he is there. We also got Demarcus Van Dyke is one of the required people underneath. A lot of people don't know he has a 93 speed, which is enough to where he's not going to get burnt, which is all I really care about. His coverage stats are ass. Hit power is ass. Tackling is ass. Everything is ass. But he's got enough speed to where he's, you know, he'll be able to chase someone down if by some miracle he's up on the field. Nate Askew, uh, you know, the left outside linebacker never sees the field. So I just put someone that takes only seven cap it with decent speed to where if I come out in a formation where I need him there. Because this is pretty much a dollar scheme. This is I'm only gonna really run dollar three two six and like um dollar three two six maybe a little bit of four six and uh, dime 
maybe some nickel. But that's the reason why why this lineup looks like this. We got uh, Darren Lee as our starting middle linebacker. Really, really good card. Only a 52 cap hit. And he's got 95 speed and 83 zone. 97 play arc is crazy. 98 pursuits crazy. 83 block shots all right. 82 hit power is all right. But he's a uh, very, very athletic middle linebacker. He's great. Uh, we need to have this guy here. He's got 86 speed, so that's why he's there. He takes only a 5 cap hit. We got T. Sism on Nizzle at it right outside linebacker. He's the guy coming in on our blitz for the majority of the time, so he's got to be moved around depending on who I'm sending in on what blitz. We got Night Train Lane at our free safety. We're hoping that the free safety is... Um, I really have him there because the free safety plays underneath a lot, and I know Night Train Lane. Don't get me wrong. Night Train Lane is very, very good in the deep ball. Um, but we got Night Train Lane. Actually, no, Night Train Lane is playing the deep ball uh, sometimes unless I flip the play. But Night Train Lane is playing the deep. So that's why we got him there because he plays the deep ball very well. Uh, so if he can't hang there, then I'll switch him with Brian Dawkins and he'll be in the slot for whenever I run it. And that, that, that'll that just mean Brian Dawkins is playing over the top and Night Train Lane is not. And if Brian Dawkins sucks, then we're just going to have to throw free safety Calvin there. We got Byron Maxwell as our number one. Uh, he's going to be in hook zones. He's got 97 zone, and that is just amazing. You know, 97 zone hook zone, that's all you could really ask for with 93 speed. 85 play rec is pretty nice. So that's really the only reason he's there. 94 press is pretty decent too. Um, so that's why we got him there. He doesn't really play. I'll, I don't really play much man-to-man, -man, and if I do, I'll definitely be moving him out for like night train lane or something. Someone with better man than him for sure. Maybe even Patrick Peterson because we got him underneath. Um, Patrick Peterson, uh, he also is going to be seeing the field. That's why we have a decent quarterback down here, cornerback down here, because Patrick Peterson will be seeing the field whenever we run uh, three two six, because that's six defensive backs. So Patrick Peterson will definitely be on the field, and he's also going to be returning our kicks. Uh, we have Brian Dawkins in our slot position. He's going to be moved around. It really, this is just because I'm going to be in the dollar the majority of the time. But so this is what it's going to look like when they're in the dollar. So Brian Dawkins will be playing underneath. For now, uh, and if I have to move him around, then it'll be have to be moved around. It just depends on how the team plays. Um, but this is going to be the first lineup. I might be moving them to different positions, but this is going to be the team regardless for the first couple games. We got Jadavion Clowney at our right end. He's got 90 speed, which is really good. 95 XL, which is good. You know, he's definitely uh, able to be sent in on the blitz with 95 power move and 87 block shift, so he could definitely hold his own in the run. Backing him up is just a no one that someone has to be there. We have Will Sutton as our defensive tackle. 67 speed is atrocious, but he does have 96 block shot at 95 strength, 90 tackle. Um, so he's going to have to suffice. And he takes only 34 cap hit, which is actually substantially small compared to other defensive tackles. So that's why we got him. My other lineups, I have different defensive tackles, but for now we got him right there. Uh, we got Ricky Tucker. Ha -ho -ho -ha -ho -ho. Uh, he'll never see the field um, unless I come out in 4 6. Uh, but even then, he probably won't be the person in 4-6. Um, I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so that's that's what's going on with that. We got Lawrence Taylor over here. Uh, you know, Lawrence Taylor's a freaking beast. Uh, 91 speed, 98 excel, 98 tackle. I mean, when the, the 100, 100 block shed, 101 finesse move, 99 power move, 92 play right. The, this card's crazy. There's no way I can't have a lineup with him in it. Because he is definitely going to be able to hold his own. He's going to come in on blitzes. He's going to be able to block shit crazy. This card is freaking amazing, and he really shows it in uh, salary cap. Um, we also have Revis Island, and this card is freaking crazy. 101 man, a 99 press, 98 zone, 96 speed. Not a lot of people are going to be able to come out with receivers that are going to be able to break a press from Revis. So that's why we got him. He's going to be able to lock down one side all by himself. And he's also going to be in a deep, and I believe he has the aggressive ball trade, so that's why we got him. So that's how that's going to work. I have the lineups where I have a better defensive tackle in case I come out in 4-6. Uh, but for now, this is what the lineup's going to look like. Uh, flip it over to the special teams. Got Patrick Peterson returning kicks. We got, uh, I don't know who this guy is, Alex Henry. 89 kick power with only a 7 cap hit. That's why he's there. We got Jones Drew as our third down running back. Delaney Walker's our long snapper. Polish, I don't punt. You know, I'm not about that life. I don't care if it's 4th and 30. I'm going for it. Um, so that's what's going on with that, guys. So if you guys like the video, now, you know, definitely give me a like. If you guys have any other players that you guys think I should add, or if there's like some players I should know about for draft, or for draft time, for salary cap, definitely put them in the description below because I'm I'm always interested. I freaking love building lineups. It's like one of the funnest things in this game because I don't know the gameplay's got pretty stale for this game, but building lineups is so freaking fun. So if you guys have any players that I should know about for any future lineups or anything, definitely throw them in the uh, in the comment section below, and I'd be sure to read I read all my comments. So definitely, definitely, definitely let me know if you guys have any really nice sleepers that no one really knows about or that everyone knows about and I just don't know about. 
Um, I also got the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook in the description. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check it out. We got updates coming for that soon. I've been working around in it. And I'm just going to add uh, a couple formations probably. What is it? It's the 29th while I'm recording this. But I'll probably be adding some more plays sometime in June. And then the last update will be in July. Um, so if you guys like the video, definitely give it a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below. And as always, gameplay is going to become some of this team.